Hi friends I am Dr Himanshu Gupta and in this video we are going to study antibiotics cell wall synthesis inhibitors so before discussing this topic i want to ask you how is your preparation going i just want to tell you that keep working hard keep working hard don't give up don't give up stay consistent and keep persisting I know you have not done well in the NEET PG exam but I can assure you that if you keep working hard if you don't give up you will definitely do well in the AIMS exam you will definitely do well in the AIMS exam and I know it is difficult to believe ki mera AIMS ka exam ho sakta hai I know tumhe vishwas nahi hota hoga ki tum AIMS ka exam clear kar sakte ho but agar tum consistent rahoge aur persistent rahoge definitely wonders will happen with you wonders will happen with you and things will happen that you didn't even imagine things will happen that you didn't even imagine and i have known friends i have known friends who had got 575 marks in the neat exam in the january and they went on to get 60 rank in aims 60 rank in aims another friend of mine who had got 10000 rank 10000 rank in neat pg in neat pg then he went on to get 209 rank in aims 209 rank in aims so definitely it's possible it's possible to crack the aims exam even if you are a mediocre so if you want to connect to me If you want to connect to me you can message me on my Facebook page purpose by himanshu gupta purpose by himanshu gupta or you can message me on my Facebook profile on my Facebook profile which you can search on the Facebook by the name himanshu gupta delhi himanshu gupta delhi at the rate of yahoo.com yahoo.com so in this in this profile you can send me message and i will try to clear your queries also and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to subscribe to my channel and like and comment my on my videos even if there is something that you don't like do comment do comment and your comments will definitely help me improve okay so let us begin with the lecture drugs inhibiting cell wall synthesis so drugs inhibiting cell wall synthesis are phosphomycin phosphomycin beta lactam antibiotics bacitracin cycloserine and vancomycin and vancomycin <coughs> Phosphomycin inhibits the enzyme enol pyruvate transferase. Beta lactam antibiotics inhibits the enzyme transpeptidase. Bacitracin inhibits the enzyme bactoprenol. Cycloserine inhibits the enzyme alanine racemase and alanine ligase. Vancomycin inhibits the enzyme transglycosylase, transglycosylase. So it is very difficult to remember these enzymes. so we have a mnemonic for it we have a mnemonic for it firmly bind to bacterial cell wall also i will tell you in brief how cell wall synthesis takes place so biosynthesis of bacterial cell wall bacterial cell wall is composed of peptidoglycan that contains n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucosamine so udp the first step is udp n acetyl glucosamine is converted to udp n acetyl muramic acid with the help of enzyme enol pyruvate transferase this enzyme is inhibited by phosphomycin phosphomycin okay so after this is converted we the pentapeptide unit is formed pentapeptide unit is formed with the help of enzyme alanine ligase and racemase so these enzymes are inhibited by cycloserine cycloserine once the pentapeptide unit is formed 
इट इज़ देन एडिड टू एन एसिटाइल म्यूरामिक एसिड एन एसिटाइल म्यूरामिक एसिड एंड इट फॉर्म्स वन कम्प्लेक्स देन दिस यू डी पी यू डी पी इज़ रिमूव फ्राम दिस कम्प्लेक्स एंड इट इज एडिड टू एंड इट इज एडिड टू एन यू डी पी यू डी पी एन एसिटाइल ग्लूकोजामीन एन एसिटाइल ग्लूकोजामीन सो दिस इज़ द पेंटा पेप्टाइड यूनिट दिस इज दिस प्रोसेस अकर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ बैक्टोप्रिनॉल 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 ऑल्सो ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस पेंटा पेप्टाइड आउटसाइड द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इट ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस पेंटा पेप्टाइड आउटसाइड द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड वेयर द क्रॉस लिंकिंग ऑफ दिस पेंटा पेप्टाइड अकर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंजाइम ट्रांसग्लाइकोसाइलेस so this penta peptide unit is transported outside the plasma membrane is transported outside the plasma membrane and it is and it is interlinked with each other with the help of enzyme transglycosylase transglycosylase once uh, it forms chain once this penta peptide unit forms chains with the help of enzyme transglycosylase the cross linking of these chains occurs the cross linking of these chains occurs with the help of enzyme with the help of enzyme transpeptidase transpeptidase and this transpeptidase is inhibited by it is inhibited by friends beta lactams beta lactams so in this chapter we are basically going to discuss more about beta lactams so beginning with our discussion beta lactam antibiotics you have to remember that all beta lactam are bactericidal drugs because they inhibit cell wall synthesis cell wall synthesis they bind to specific receptors specific receptors penicillin binding proteins which inhibit transpeptidase transpeptidase which prevents cross linking of penta peptide units cross linking of penta peptide chains okay so penicillin g is the major beta lactam which is obtained from penicillium chrysogenum chrysogenum it is there are some drawbacks with penicillin g there are some shortcomings with penicillin g these are these are not effective orally they have a shorter duration of action and covers mainly gram positive bacteria so in order to overcome these shortcomings in order to overcome these shortcomings we have some newer generation penicillins newer generation penicillins penicillin g is not effective orally due to acid liability due to acid liability so we have acid resistant penicillins acid resistant penicillins acid resistant penicillins can be remembered can be remembered with the help of the mnemonic vodka vodka so vodka mnemonic stands for penicillin v oxacillin digoxacillin cloxacillin amoxicillin and ampicillin so vodka is the mnemonic to remember to remember acid resistant penicillins okay so penicillin g penicillin g penicillin g is short acting is short acting so benzathine and procaine groups are added to it benzathine and procaine groups are added to it to make it long acting to make it long acting okay so penicillin g has a narrow spectrum of antibiotics narrow spectrum of antibacterial activity so we have a newer generation we have a newer generation <coughs> in which side groups are added to them and they have a wide spectrum wide spectrum they can also have activity against gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria okay so these are ampicillin amoxicillin carbenicillin ticarcillin mesdocillin azlocillin and piperacillin and piperacillin so how to remember this how to remember this so the mnemonic is a c t map a c t map okay and you have to remember that c t map drugs are effective against c t map drugs are effective against 
सुडोमनास सुडोमनास सुडोमोनास ओके सुनाओ पेनिसिलिन इज रेजिस्टेंट पेनिसिलिनस पेनिसिलिनस आर इनएक्टिवेटेड बाय पेनिसिलिन इज सो देयर आर सम न्यूअर जनरेशन पेनिसिलिनस व्हिच आर रेजिस्टेंट टू दिस पेनिसिलिन इज देयर इज आल्सो वन मेनी वन मोर मैकेनिज्म बाय व्हिच पेनिसिलिनस कैन बी इफेक्टिव अगेंस्ट दिस पेनिसिलिन इज बाय गिविंग बीटा लैक्टमेस इनहिबिटर्स बीटा लैक्टमेस इनहिबिटर्स वी कैन इनहिबिट दिस पेनिसिलिन इज एंड द पेनिसिलिन व्हिच आर रेजिस्टेंट टू दिस आर द हार्मोनिक इज कॉन्डम ड्रग्स कॉन्डम ड्रग्स तो दीज आर क्लॉक्सैसिलिन ऑक्सैसिलिन नाफिसिलिन डिक्लॉक्सैसिलिन एंड मेथिसिलिन एंड मेथिसिलिन ओके सो कमिंग टू एंटी सुडोमोनास सुडोमोनल पेनिसिलिन एंटी सुडोमोनल पेनिसिलिन सो एंटी सुडोमोनल पेनिसिलिन आर यू कैन रिमेंबर इट विद द नमोनिक सिटी मैप दिस कार्बेनिसिलिन टिकारसिलिन मेजलोसिलिन एजलोसिलिन एंड पिपरासिलिन टॉक्सिसिटी मेन टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ पेनिसिलिन इज हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इंक्लूडिंग सीरम सिकनेस इंक्लूडिंग सीरम सिकनेस so coming to cephalosporins cephalosporins you have to remember the generations of cephalosporins nowadays basically they will last you only the fifth and uh, fourth generations cephalosporins so first we will talk about fifth and fourth generation cephalosporins how to remember them so you have to remember that rone wali drugs rone wali drugs these are rone wali drugs are fifth generation okay septarolin and septobirol septobirol all the rol drugs these are fifth generation and the drugs which have pi in their name cefepime and cefepirom these are these are third generation these are third generation and the mnemonic for first generation drugs are the end with the end with a a cefarolin cefa sorry cefalexin cefadroxil and cefaloridine cefaloridine okay so for first generation these drugs end with a exception is cefaclor exception is cefaclor cefaclor is a second generation cephalosporin which ends with a okay so coming to third generation third generation third generation cephalosporins these are cefixime cefdenir cefotaxime ceftriaxone ceftizoxime cefci cef Tizoxime, cefoparazone, and moxalactam, and moxalactam. The mnemonic to remember these drugs is they end with either me or own. Okay, end with either me or one. Okay. So again, cefixime, cefdenir, cefotaxime, ceftriaxone, ceftizoxime, cefoparazone, and moxalactam, and moxalactam. now this i will discuss with you some important points about cephalosporins most cephalosporins are excreted via kidney through tubular secretion through tubular secretion ceftriaxone and cefoparazone are secreted in bile so these are exceptions that you have to remember ceftriaxone and cefoparazone are excreted in the bile nephrotoxicity of these drugs is increased with loop diuretics now coming to anti pseudomonal anti pseudomonal cephalosporins these are ceftazidime cefotolazone and cefoparazone ceftazidime ceftolazone cefoparazone so ceftriaxone and cefoparazone ex- are excreted in bile anti pseudomonal cephalosporins are ceftazidime ceftolazone and cefoparazone okay 
so long term use of ceftriaxone can result in biliary sludging syndrome biliary biliary sludging syndrome and cholelithiasis due to precipitation in bile okay now coming to monobactams monobactams the example is astrionam astrionam so this is active against beta lactamase producing gram negative rods including pseudomonas but has no activity against gram positive organisms or anaerobes so these are active against beta lactamase producing gram negative rods including pseudomonas it is the only beta lactam antibiotic only beta lactam antibiotic that can be used in patients having severe allergy to penicillin or cephalosporins so if we have allergy to one beta lactam we cannot give other beta lactam also but monobactams are an ex exception okay coming to carbapenems carbapenems the examples are the examples are imipenem doripenem meropenem and artapenem these are the drug of choice for enterobacter klebsiella and acinobacter species one important question one important question that you have to remember that you have to remember is these are the only beta lactams which are reliably efficacious against extended spectrum beta lactamases so important question in extended spectrum beta lactamases the drug of choice is carbapenems carbapenems okay imipenem is rapidly inactivated by dehydropeptidase so it is combined with silastin silastin adverse effects of imipenem plus silastin is seizures and gi distress seizures and gi distress so coming to beta lactamase inhibitors beta lactamase inhibitors these are clavulanic acid sulfbactam tazobactam and avibactam you have to know which beta lactamase inhibitors are combined with with beta lactams so amoxicillin is combined with clavulanic acid ampicillin is combined with ampicillin is combined with sulfbactam and piperacillin is combined with tazobactam tazobactam side effect of vancomycin side effect of vancomycin is red man syndrome red man syndrome also i will advise you see the photo of this red man syndrome on google on google so thank you friends for watching this video and if you want more videos like this do let me know in the comment section below thank you